The drones of today have revolutionized modern warfare and are known for their seek and destroy missions over Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Yemen. But the drones of tomorrow will be humming over American homes. There may be as many as 30,000 drones flying in U.S. skies by 2020, which is a huge number, basically, uh, you know, one in every town. Now that Congress and the president have cleared the way for spy planes to fly in U.S. skies, defense and aerospace firms are pushing their weight in D.C. in hopes of cashing in on the expected drone business boom. Right now, the global market's worth about, according to some estimates, a little less than $6 billion U.S. dollars. Uh, but it's supposed to double, almost double, to over $11 billion, uh, you know, within the next decade. In 2001, the Defense Department had 90 drones. Just 11 years later, it has an arsenal of more than 9,500 remotely piloted aircraft. With the wars winding down overseas, most of those unmanned aircraft will be used domestically for surveillance and disaster assistance, raising safety and privacy concerns. Why do you need drones against your citizens? That's a military weaponry. Your police department is not your military. And we've lost that distinction. They're, they're the weapons manufacturers, and weapons manufacturers know that we need war in order to be profitable. So they buy Congress. Defense and aerospace firms which build drones have spent millions of dollars on lobbying over the past year. Those efforts have helped them secure government contracts, but lobbyists are also having a very heavy influence on the legislation and regulation over these unmanned vehicles. That's sort of the way it works here. They're the ones who know it best uh, and, uh, and know what they want written into the legislation. So, and that's a real, that can be a real problem um, because they obviously have a vested interest. With billions of dollars in contracts, Northrop Grumman is one of the dominant players in the unmanned aircraft business, spending more than $4 million in lobbying. Raytheon splurged nearly $7.4 million on lobbying last year, according to First Street Research while General Atomics spent $2.3 million. The San Diego-based company has signed $250 million in contracts with Homeland Security since 2005. The argument all the time uh, by local law enforcement is these drones are, are very cheap and they're very effective. Uh, yet despite the huge potential for um, danger uh, in the privacy realm for American citizens, uh, you know, it hasn't really been proven that uh, law, law enforcement can use these uh, efficiently and safely anyways. Quite the opposite. The Office of Inspector General of the Department of Homeland Security characterized the quarter billion dollar drone program along the southern border as highly ineffective, recommending a halt to further drone purchases. A $176 million Navy drone recently crashed and burned in Maryland. Right now, the Navy only has five of those uh, craft that, that, that they are using. Um, when you bring home 500 more, you're going to have more of a risk of more of a risk of, of crashes. Despite the criticisms, influential leaders in Congress are helping the defense and aerospace industry write the rules and cash in on the coming drone revolution. In Los Angeles, Ramon Galindo, RT.